So I'm now in Fort Condor, the second place I need to be in. Shinra will destroy the reactor and then take out the material that's inside. So I'll just go up here. Now, I don't actually remember, like, particularly what I'm supposed to do here. But, that actually, but that actually isn't a problem. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got no units. Put speed to highest. And then I wait. <laughs> I could only place... Oh, I, I, I didn't realise you could place units mid-battle. Um, if you haven't placed already, but you can't place them very high. Yeah, usually I think you can place them to about here, something like that. You can't place them at the bottom regardless, but um, yeah, once it's actually started, you can only place it above that line. Yeah. Um, so the reason that I'm letting them just win this is because it's the same regardless. It doesn't actually matter whether or not you win this battle or not. It, but if you if you win this battle, then you don't fight a boss after. And if they and and if you lose this battle, you fight this boss after. And um, you get the huge material regardless, as long as you win the second battle. If you lose the second battle, you don't get the huge material. Um, you get some other right. I think it's related. Yeah, I think it's a phoenix, even though it does not look like a phoenix at all. I think it's a phoenix. Phoenix materia. And you also get some... Yeah, you, there's an item which drops from a boss. And that's why I'm losing. It's some kind of, um... Some kind of armlet. Which, um... Yeah, it's, it's unique. I'd, I think it's better than the armlets I've got right now, but... It is a bit weird, like, you get you get to use a weapon, and you get to choose which weapon you use, okay, that's fine, you've only got one weapon, and as far as armour you get to choose is just, is just an armour, which is not exactly a massive part of your armour, is it? It's a tiny part of your armour. Yeah, not, uh, not exactly brutally difficult. I'll just see if this actually absorbs anything. Okay, cool. Well, that's dead. As soon as this actually happens. And this is its final attack, which does not much damage. <laughs> That's less damage than it did. Well, obviously it was only against one person, but it's less damage than it did uh, with its regular attack. Yeah, so Imperial Guard. So that is actually the final battle. All the other battles happen at various times. Um, it's actually like you have to come back to Fort Condor after doing various parts of the story. And that, that's Battle 21, even though most... even though the, You can't do 21 battles, it's more like... 12 or something. Because some of the battles... are, um... happen... happen, like, when you can't be here. And so we've got Phoenix Materia, and that's apparently a Phoenix. Oh yeah, so the, uh, I, I seem to remember the, the bird was protecting an egg that wasn't even its own egg. Can I, can I not talk to him? Does he not? I'm sure someone explained this. 
Okay, nope, not him. I suppose that's his father. And so we get the huge material. So now we've got to go back to Medeal. So now to go back in, even though I, I... I really didn't leave very long ago, but... And Tifa is here, after all. Oh yeah, I got the... You do this thing where you, uh... Talk to this woman inside some places, and then you... Uh... What do you do? You, you get a key that's up on that bridge, and then you, uh... Go into the weapon shop, kick the door, Try and use the key on the door. Um, it's actually painted on, and you get a curse ring. I'm not using curse ring right now, but um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a mixed blessing. I'll just calmly walk out. Whoa, shit, the camera's going crazy. For being a weapon, this one's actually very easy, really. I don't know if I can actually steal anything right now. Also, you can't beat it now anyway, but... Uh... Damn, it does have something to steal, then. Another co oh, okay. <laughs> uh... Oh, right, he goes berserk. Yeah, that's not really any, that's not really better, but. Heal a bit. I'll use dragon, whatever the hell. I don't even remember what this does. Okay. And it. What? Okay. And then he flies away.
I, I've always thought this looks a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Tifa's just like uh, running as fast as possible with Cloud. Cloud can't do anything, and then they just slide into it. Look, it looks a bit silly. Also, for live streams that uh, close to the surface, then um, and like, does a live stream take the place of like our mantle or something? Because if 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 that's the case, then damn, they have a very thin crust. I still don't know what that noise is supposed to be. Yeah, trying to determine what. Uh, oh, I need to do this in a certain order. Uh, okay, that one first, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to find out, like, what Cloud actually did, and not just what he remembered doing. Apparently every truck is the same truck. They probably because that's the same that's the same like design of truck as the one where that we have um run away from Midgar in. Maybe they just didn't want to have a lot of I don't know, it's probably not a very important part of the game really. So probably didn't design a lot of trucks.
Yeah, Tifa looks pretty much the same size, and Cloud looks um, not nearly the same size. So those previous two were both scenes we've seen before, whereas this one takes us into Tifa's house, and isn't a, well, isn't a scene I've seen before anyway. Um, obviously we've been here. We live next to each other, which isn't very surprising considering there's about six houses. So there's like a 50% chance you either live in the same house or live next to the, <laughs> next to that person. That's why she's there. Okay, us two will go along as well then. And then I think well, what happens? 
Cloud decides to go. They didn't take the uh, the other route to get, I don't know, one of Red's weapons or something like that. So they give up after about 50 meters. But of course Cloud doesn't. So that's obviously a, a case of uh, massive sexism. Whenever something bad happens, always, always the male to blame. Half jokingly. And so Cloud got owned. Not Cloud got owned, Zack got owned. And so Cloud remembered everything because he was just some Shinran soldier. Shinran? Is that Shinra? <laughs> yeah, I think just Shinra soldier. The singular is Shinra. The possessive is Shinra. The plural is Shinra. In um, in Last Order. Sephiroth doesn't turn around, he doesn't realise he's getting stabbed until he's actually getting stabbed. So Sephiroth deigned to talk to a mere, um, you know, random Shinran soldier, Shinra soldier, whatever.
and so uh, Sephiroth's carrying Genova's head. She's like, doop doop doop, better chop off my mom's head and then just carry it around because I definitely know that the head is all I need. You haven't even brought your fucking sword, Cloud. What are you doing? And you just ran straight into it. <laughs> he was already pointing it that way. In last order, he jumps in there himself. It is Last Order, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. That's also the name of a character in... Uh... Tawaru Mujutsu Kagaku no Railgun Index. And so now he's pieced all his memories together and so can do some kind of weird uh, melding thing where it goes into the same pose and then everything's fine somehow. I mean, I can understand how, okay, he's pieced together his memories, he's realised what's fake and so he won't think a bunch of stupid things. I don't entirely get how this overcomes the Mako poisoning. I mean, I suppose the Mako poisoning, like it, what Mako poisoning is, is that it um gives you a huge amount of information that you don't know what to do with, and it makes you crazy somehow. And I suppose what he did there might have managed to sift out the. Irrelevant stuff. In some sort of bollock pseudoscience <laughs> um, mumbo jumbo. Because, yeah, obviously that's not a. Obviously, Mako poisoning isn't actually a real phenomenon. Ah, oh, a nice, me a nice uh, live stream beach, isn't that lovely? Why haven't I seen any live stream beaches anywhere else? Probably because they're all covered up. C because, um, you know, until just now there were no weapons, no messing everything up like a weapon did somehow. Well, yeah, considering how shallow that, uh. Or how how thin that crust was. I'm surprised that like the ocean goes a lot deeper than that. <laughs> well, I suppose it's just an incredibly narrow crust everywhere, and the crust it height itself fluctuates. I doubt they really thought about this when they were making the game. Probably weren't like uh, we need to. We need to make a, a realistic planetary crust model. Um. Yeah, so while he never made Soldier First Class, considering we've already fought Soldier First Classes, oh my god, here it is, yeah, there ain't no getting off this train. Where uh, somehow, after having said it about twice ever, everyone just knows it and all says it at the same time, and I don't get it. Um, but yeah, so, so Cloud never managed to make Soldier First Class, but 
he did, he, he does now, um, or is now, more powerful than probably any Soldier First Class, because we already fought Soldier First Classes and they're not very powerful, to be honest, in comparison to what he is now. Um, but then again, I don't think the numbers are really representative of, of the storyline, because it's sort of like how in games you, you get shot like a hundred times, but then in a cutscene you get shot once and it's all, and suddenly it's all terrible, when every time before it barely did anything. And so, back to the proper... Um, party. I don't have to go to right right now, do I? Um. Okay. Oh yeah, so it's level eight now. No, so I don't need to go there right now. You can see Medeal's sort of not there anymore, and has been taken over by. Just. Hello. Clearly, some of the uh... clearly some of the city was still there. So, I don't know, again, it's just sort of representative, because it turns out, actually, I'm not about 600 feet tall. <laughs> 